Well, let's turn to Europe's economic crisis. It topped the agenda today when Prime Minister Stephen Harper met with France's new president. They differ on the best way forward, but on Francois Hollande's home turf, there was no public talk of austerity. The CBC's Susan Normiston explains. The newcomer and the veteran, two leaders who have strongly differed on a remedy for the Eurozone crisis. Prime Minister Harper, deeply worried the crisis in Europe will suppress Canada's economy, has backed austerity measures. But it was an anti-austerity platform which put Francois Hollande in the Elysee Palace. A stage for strong words? Not exactly. Neither mentioned austerity publicly at all. The mantra is growth. How to get it is the problem vexing everyone. As I told the president, they're not going to have growth in Europe unless they uh, establish some confidence in markets. And it's going to be very difficult to establish confidence without a plan to address some of these issues and some of these structural issues. France's economy is slumping, plus it's exposed to Euro debt. Hollande is trying to build bridges, not burn them. We share two principles, he said. We need more growth. But to have more growth, we also need more stability. Europe is anything but stable. Spanish banks are teetering as EU officials consider aid. Greece is near the boiling point. In a political talk show, an MP from a neo-Nazi party slapped around a Communist Party MP. In Berlin, it was air kisses instead as British Prime Minister David Cameron met with Germany's Chancellor. Angela Merkel now openly calling for a closer political union in Europe to shore up the euro. Britain agrees but wants no part of it. When it comes to the Eurozone crisis, uh, I, I'm very clear that there's urgent action is needed uh, to deal with the market uncertainty. That is about building firewalls and recapitalizing banks. So we are back to the talk. Urgent measures, decisive action. We've been down this route before. There are a few turning points ahead. The Greek elections in 10 days, followed by a G20 and then a Eurozone leaders meeting. The new man in Elysee Palace will be tested. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, Paris.